Plastic in Northeast Ohio's greatest natural resource is seeping into our water, even our food. And while we don't know yet what risk these plastics pose, local experts say we need to make a change. News 5's Olivia Fecto explains what we can do to try to turn around this troubling trend. Plastic everywhere. It affects wildlife, it affects fish, it affects the quality of our drinking water, and it ultimately it probably affects human health. We don't know the answer for sure yet, but hopefully within the next year we'll know that. The effects are far reaching and Ohio Sea Grant Extension educator Jill Bartolotta wants us all to know it doesn't have to be this way. That this is completely preventable. Trash is in the environment because of us. She says Lake Erie has a high concentration of microplastics. Microplastics are small pieces of broken down plastic from different sources, including plastic utensils and plastic bags. And when plastic breaks down, the end result looks something like this. They may be tiny, but they cause all sorts of problems, from endangering marine animals to leaching chemicals. Just last week, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration released a new five-year plan to deal with trash in the Great Lakes. But it was really disturbing today to hear about um, the health effects that it can have on humans in terms of endocrine disruptors and things like that. As a biology educator at the University of Akron and to some local high school students, Lara Rocca Tenets knows this is a huge problem. But even she's shocked at the scope. She came out to a lecture at Cuyahoga Community College's campus in Westlake to learn more about how she and others can make changes. I think if we can talk with students and the general public about how easy it is to swap certain things out in our lives in terms of a convenience factor, that we're going to make a big difference. One way Ohio Sea Grant is trying to do that is the Skip the Straw campaign. This summer, General Manager Julie Roach at the Boardwalk on Putin Bay told us the complex has gotten rid of plastic straws entirely. We're just trying to do a little bit of our part, um, whatever we can, to help keep this lake beautiful for years to come. From ditching plastic straws in water bottles to changing how you pack your lunch, Bartolotta urges people to make a change. Pick one thing. One thing that you do every day that uses plastic and try to phase it out. Because if you and the millions of other people living in our country do that, that's millions of plastics that won't go to landfill or won't have the possibility of ending up in the natural environment. In Westlake, Olivia Fecto, News 5.